it is harvest day. While most Japanese are still asleep, the Saito family has started harvesting their pride. Despite the calm of the early morning and the rain, positive tension can be read on the faces. An exciting moment that the breeder has looked forward to all year round. The big question that will be answered, how big did the koi get during the growing season? This harvest is unlike any other. There's extra help today that helps with catching and lifting the Yumbo koi. Fish that are around one meter in size swim in this mud pond. It remains special to see how each fish appears calmly on the surface of the water. One koi is even more beautiful than the other. With a steady speed, the family works together to get the fish to the car as safely and quickly as possible. A large tank with clean water awaits there where the koi can be viewed. Masaru Saito is in charge today. The Shintaro Koi Farm is specialized in breeding Kohaku, Sanka and Showa varieties. For the starting hobbyist, these varieties are classified in the Go Sanka group. You will mainly see the koi with white, black and red patterns and colors with this breeder. The Shintaro Koi Farm is nowadays selling to customers all over the world. It is time to pick up the pace a little. While Kesuka, the son of Masaru, catches the koi from the water like a well-oiled machine, Masaru takes a first look at his Jumbo koi. With his eyes for details, he immediately sees the result of a year hard of work. Proud as he is, he lifts the heavy koi into the back of the car. Hundreds of thousands of liters of meltwater have been flowed from this pond towards the major rivers in recent days. Without draining the mud pond, it was not possible to catch the koi today. If you look closely, you can see how high the edges of the mud pond actually are.
It is very relaxing to see how this breeder views his koi. After five months of absence, they can finally return into the indoor ponds. Once inside, the koi go into winter mode and will be only fed again at the beginning of spring. The fasting happens because the fish have a lower digestion when the water temperature has reached 6 degrees. Just like in nature, carp adapt to the circumstances. It's time to clean up the nets. The mud pond will continue to deflate and quickly fill with new snow. Snow that provides natural water during the spring. While the last Jimbo coin joined the rest, Masaru-san ensures that the transport can be safely transported to the koi house. After a short 20 minute drive, the breeder arrives at the koi house. This is where the koi stay until they are sold or released back in the outdoor ponds. This is the moment when the breeder finally can inspect the koi. Masato has a bond with every fish. He has known every koi for years, which means that he immediately recognized every deviation in behavior or health. These animals receive and deserve the best care only. This kohaku immediately jumps out when it becomes to quality. The skin quality, the build of the koi, but also the depth of the benny is so strong. What a great koi. Next up are two great sanke. These two koi also have a great build and the skin quality is excellent. Both koi are good, but if I had to choose I would go for the second sanke. Main reason is that I find the construction even stronger and the pattern appeals a little bit more to me. I really appreciate you watching this video. The video is not over yet, but I would love it if you give this video a like and leave a comment. Would you like to subscribe as well?
thank you so much for watching my video. I have selected the following video especially for you. Click on the left to watch it right now.